Hi guys, so today we did 50 jumping jacks for a warm up, followed by 20 air squats. We then moved on to do 15 sit ups. And finally, 10 push ups. Fun workout today. We're doing 29 reps of everything that you see here. The first four workouts focus on our legs. We'll do 29 reps of everything from power jacks all the way down to the forward lunges. Then we move on to 29 reps of everything for the second section and the same thing for the third section. The second section focuses on our arms and the third on our core. For the first round, we have four movements that focus on our legs. The first is power jacks, the second is kangaroos, the third is squat jumps, and lastly, forward lunges. So the first workout is power jacks. We start in the center as though we're doing a jumping jack, but when we put our feet out, we go down into a squat. Repeat that for 29 reps. Next is kangaroos. Get into a squat position, getting your fingertips to the ground and then explode up, jump, land back into a squat, get your fingers to the ground again, and repeat that motion for 29 reps. Next, you're gonna do 29 reps of a similar movement, which is squat jumps. Go down into a squat, make sure your feet are flat on the ground, and explode up, land softly back into a squat, and repeat that for 29 reps. Next, we have forward lunges, Make sure your chest is up as you lunge forward, making sure that your front knee and your back knee are both at 90 degrees and explode backwards until both your feet are meeting at the back. The next section of the workout focuses on our arms and our chest. First, we'll do 29 inch worm push-ups, then plank up-downs, tricep dips, and finally high plank shoulder taps. For the inchworms, you start from standing position at the edge of your mat, walk down with your hands all the way to plank position, and then complete one push-up, which you can do from your knees, and walk back up until you're in standing position. Next workout is tricep dips. Get your fingers pointing towards your toes, lift your body, Lower your butt towards the ground by bending at the elbows and lift back up. Do that for 29 reps. For the plank up downs, you will start from a high plank, getting down to a low plank one elbow at a time, and getting back up to a high plank one arm at a time, and repeating that for 29 reps. Next, we have shoulder taps. Get into plank position, high plank. Tap each shoulder with your hand on opposing ends and repeat that for 29 reps. Next part of the workout, we're going to be doing four movements that focus on our core. The first is alternating V-ups, then knee crunches, plank arm reaches, and finally sit-ups. 29 reps of each. So we get into our V-ups, flat on the ground, hands reach back, legs are flat on the ground. You touch your right foot with your left hand and alternate, make sure that your upper body is going up, pulling from the core and make sure that you touch on every rep for 29 reps. Then we have our knee crunches. Get your knees up at 90 degrees interlock your fingers and get them get your hands behind your head and then crunch your forehead towards your knees and repeat for 29 reps for the plank arm reaches make sure you have a plank position held and then reach forward as though you're trying to punch the air with your left hand put it back down go for the right hand put it back down that is two reps Keep your body steady as you can keep it, don't move around with every rep and repeat for 29 reps. 
And finally, for our sit-ups, get your soles or your feet or your shoes touching and facing each other. Your knees fall to either side of your body. Take your hands all the way back. Pull from the core and get your hands past your toes and touch the ground. And repeat that for 29 reps.